In our next story, we meet a young lady who is trying to keep the memory of her grandfather and his music alive in an outdoor festival in cold water. It's called the Goat Festival. Yes, goat. No, it's not what you think. Let's go see. My grandfather, Otis Turner, he started in his backyard. Um, just family members and close friends. People will come out, listen to good music, and hear the Fife and Drum Band. And over the years, it got bigger and bigger, and more people heard about it, and it got overseas, and it was nationwide and worldwide. And people from Paris came last year to perform, from uh, Germany was there performed, and it's just gotten huge. My goal is to uh, continue to, you know, carry that tradition on as long as I can. Of course, with help from others, with great help from, uh, from others, and just keep it going like he did. People just come out, lawn chairs, blankets, and relax. And there'll be a lot of live bands performing, and the uh, Rising Star Fife and Drum Band, you know, we'll play in between while the next band is setting up. And they come for the famous barbecue goat. That was the tradition that he had because he only raised hogs and goats. So he started doing goat picnics. We uh, boil it for like six to seven hours and chop it up kind of like, um, like pulled pork. And you would never know the difference until they were like, hey, that's goat. That's how we keep in the goat and we named it this year the Goat Picnic, which is greatest of all time. Well, he's first off my granddad, and he's the master of fife and drum music. He started way back in the day, the 50s, 60s, and playing fife and drum, which is this, this, this is the fife right here. Playing fife and drum, hill country blues, and it's kind of like a folklore, a folklore tradition. So he um, picked it up from Mr. Napoleon Strickland and started playing and put him a band together with the grand boys. Back in the day, it used to be just strictly Oath to turn a fight for drum music. But now, when you come to one of the Rising Stars shows, you get a little bit of pop for the young people, hip hop for the young people, a little bit of gospel, a little bit of blues. So we try to keep it all generations and keep it fresh. I love to see people's uh, reaction when they hear it the first time. This is bamboo, it's, it's bamboo cane. And the holes are burnt, and it's no sheet music. You just pick it up. Pour some water in it, play. It's that simple. I live right next door to my granddad, and I will always see him picking up the fife or having it stuck in his back pocket. And I was like, I want to do that, you know? I want to be like my uh, granddaddy. So I borrowed his fife, and I never took it back. Eventually, he made me my own fife. I had a clue what I was doing. But uh, to him, I was the perfect fife player at that time. Uh, he passed in, when I was 13, and that's when I got serious about it. Because at first, I was just, you know, it was just another hobby or just something I do in my spare time. But once he passed, I was like, okay, I got to make my mind up if I want to do this for real or just, just let it go. So that's when I started taking it very serious. I kind of look at it like I was the chosen one, you know, out of all the grandkids that he had, I was like, the chosen was the one that had to take that task for. We just try to keep it close to how he had it as we can, because I don't want to branch off and start doing all this new stuff and be like, hey, it's, you know, it's not, not the picnic anymore. It's a blues festival or it's a, you know, it's a concert outside or something. So I, we try to stick to that field to give everybody, when they come, they feel at home, they can laugh and do whatever they, you know, whatever they want to do. So we want to 
keep that family, that feel, and make sure Otha keeps smiling, because I, I got a feeling that if we change it too much, you know, he, he might come down and tap me on the shoulder or something. My granddad's spirit. When I play, it's like a part of him just moved through me. And people can see that, you know, they can see that through the shows and how we play. They can feel his vibe. Like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna feel him the weekend because this is his picnic. And I, um, I'm not gonna say he's gonna show up, but uh, <laughs> his spirit would definitely be in presence. And I just want everybody to know about tradition that he started. You know, this is something that he started back in the day. He didn't know it was gonna be this far. And I just can't let it die. I just can't let it die down. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads. Down Mississippi.